Hello everyone. Very nice to see you and thank you for coming in this early hour. Uh, an excuse for waiting a little bit, but we were still waiting for some people. So, Ani Swamin, I'm from Ukraine. I'm an artist and uh, we will see now um, half an hour film which is constructed of different different projects which I've been doing through last 15 or 17 years. So that will be pretty intense. I hope I will be able to like explain everything what's happening on the on the screen, but also be free to ask some questions after if I will miss something. So we can start. So I started my contemporary art approach from land art projects, a lot of land art festivals, and I've been creating after some land art festivals because I'm praying plants. And plants, uh, tree is everything I'm talking about in my art. And tree has memory, uh, paper, paper has memory to be tree. So I started to do a lot of sculptures with using of office paper because a huge problem of deforestation is our like very main topic and much uh, sculptures of office paper appeared so i was combining uh, three branches and office paper creating new powerful plants and very big exposition a new beyond exposed urban romantics appeared which was supported by burning man uh, global art grants so that was presented on different exhibitions and after I started to think about bigger projects, which we will see after. There are some drawings, so I'm graphic and sculptor and this all is very much connected. And we will see uh, other sculptures of mine which is made of wire. So this is also a very big part of me, I'm doing wire sculptures and this talks about our molecular, molecular structure about our like systems inside and how we all are connected to natural elements, we are not something different. Those images look very digital, but actually it's absolutely analog. It is uh, real sculptures uh, and I made uh, photos, like stop motion photos and after those videos were constructed. So uh, I'm all the time on the edge of uh, analog and digital art, but mostly it is analog, but as well it looks digital. So when war started in 14 years, like Russia attacked Ukraine in 14, I could not uh, get just doing uh, my abstract works more. I started to do about human, about human and borders, about like human body and uh, you, you see now the part of uh, six hours live performance, which was filmed, and uh, the name of performance is The Shell. Uh, here we see only several frames of it because it's a very intensive program. So that's about like, can we see our borders or can we step out of our borders? Is it possible at all? Like, can we recognize what is ourselves and what the borders. Here we see the project which is named Gladici, which is viewers. Like actually a lot of stuff comes from like visual propaganda and this project is a lot about like people watching. This is another sculpture of mine, this is runner and this is dedicated to my uncle. Uh, my uncle Alexander Nadura, he, been, he was a professional runner and I've been always fascinated by that. And this is another part of my art is crystallography and crystallography project that's also a lot. That's installation and public art sculptures which you will see. So yeah, video, uh, doing videos of uh, processes of sculpture is, is a lot. And um, this is three meters and a half sculpture which was constructed, traveling around and deconstructed. So that's about like leave no trace and like construction and deconstruction. And this is much bigger sculpture which was in the contemporary time. This is France, Paris and um, Cisbe. Uh, so this big sculpture was home for ladybugs for two years and a half. When we demonstrated it, we've seen it was like myriads of those bugs. And this is Kiev, uh, Kiev Botanical Garden and 50 meters sculpture made of so this is 
big welded sink already. And it led to another sculpture uh, which was placed in Dnipro, Ukrainian city Dnipro. And this is like for children's centrum. This is also a crystallography project, but about mirrors inside, pro, inside spaces. So it has three windows and you look inside and you're just losing in all these like reflections. And also it's very huggable because it's fluffy. And like, talking about like, inside spaces, uh, here you see uh, it's 14 meters uh, live installation with uh, interactive media and sound art. But we don't hear, hear, hear sound art, but that was written by French artists. That's another project. So here you see stages of it. It's all about recycle, all about metal, which is in rivers. And this is placed on the river. So it's my one river sculpture, water sculpture. And some drawing connection. Uh, this sculpture I had, and it fall in the water. It was carved by water, and I was very much inspired. And that's how the big series of biomorphs started, after I had done this anti sculpture. And I was drawing project in big sculptures, uh, which started of Lacon and antique. So I started to combine idea of plant and idea of humanity with antique sculptures. Uh, there was competition and uh, yeah, I, I won and very big work started, like more than seven months. Um, I've been working on these antique sculptures and that was the thing to make not a replica of it, but make like give spirit of these antique sculptures. Because it is like unique code, like all humanity code, like we recognize antique sculptures, like we understand it like all humanity code. Uh, it took really a long time to to make these sculptures, to make like from idea to reality. This all is concrete, so we we see from clay. After it's like contour form, so it's it's big work and it's big parts of it. It's heavy. Like it's very funny when it, we see it very fast that it's actually like many weeks and months of, of work. So. Like take out those contour forms after clean clean it, and after like prepare it for um, casting with concrete. So this already processes of casting, and this already like ready forms. Second chance is not possible. So while a form is casted with concrete, the contour form is broken, and that's it. So if something wrong. That's only one, one chance, so that, that is um, very challenging. Um, yeah, and the uh, hard metal is inserted in sculpture to, like, to, to grow out um, all, all the... This, this made of bronze and after, after concrete, so it's a heavy pace of concrete. And sometimes very unexpected things happen in uh, so it's all it's all challenging and like everyday work and uh, it's uh, very complicated to explain how how much work is happening. No comments. So yeah, working under the rain, working in different different conditions because timing is timing, and it is it's all very serious. Like uh, this sculpture stand in a Ukrainian sculpture park, and uh, like opening is very responsible thing. And all the artists there participating had one sculpture. I had three sculptures in this park, and those three sculptures uh, were made of five pieces. So it is like one, a little bit small sculpture and two sculptures which are uh, made of two pieces. So there was five, five pieces of big concrete uh, which were produced at once. And uh, in some moments there, there was uh, some people participating, some moments there was uh, the, the biggest amount of people on location was 17 people and 
This is also a very interesting human factor, how to work in team, how to organize all the team to, to work like properly, not losing time. So yeah, I'm like captain of the ship, trying to have all the time very good team, very good spirit, uh, and like everybody have fun. And um, a matter of fact, many people uh, find working with me like dynamic meditation because um, it gives a lot of answers, it gives a lot of um, inside understanding, uh, because it, it's, it's very meditative uh, when you're just like coming to sculpture and like focus on it, and so you're diving inside yourself as well, so um, it is very therapeutic. For me, definitely. So, very interesting moment, like all these smart people who were coming to location where it was constructed were asking, but how are you going to take those cultures from there? That was a very smart question, because that was really complicated. So you've seen uh, the video before, so we were coming on the top and only like this we had to deconstruct, so it was really complicated. And so here we are arriving already on the location in is Western Ukraine, it is... Um, yeah, when concrete is flying, it always like, ah, this moment, this beautiful moment. So it's pretty heavy, it's around one, uh, one ton each piece. Uh, this lacon is uh, most, most heavy, uh, bigger, there is like a ton and a half. And uh, on the place, it's also, it was nine days of uh, installation on the place because like one part is connecting with another part and it's, it's after like needed to be, to be finished. So it's also like day, night, day, night, day, night, like morning, night, work all the time. And when everything is finished, it's, it's opening and so so, uh, three sculptures of this Syria, um, Lacaon, Aphrodite and Atlant. So, why I took those three? Because they are representing idea of uh, struggling man, idea of suffering, uh, like frightened woman and idea of like uh, brain. Because Atlant is symbol of, um, I don't know, from, from me, maybe it's something other for somebody, but it's like... Um, power of brain. So those three sculptures are okay and standing now and sometimes I'm coming to them to do some seasonal peeling. Uh, <laughs> and it's very beautiful in the night because it, it has um, two lights, uh, warm and cold light and yeah, that's I'm doing seasonal peeling for sculpture. As it is concrete, like first uh, First one here, it's very good to care about concrete after it's like settles and that's it. And we're coming to another culture, lungs. So that was 2020 and um, uh, organization which working with a uh, topic of informing people about uh, cancer of lungs and uh, um, ask me to do visual like public art sculpture. For me, that was incredible opportunity to say publicly that a human is a plant. That's what I think. We are, we are plants. We are not somewhere far from plants. We have to understand ourselves like plants. And like from this point of view, many things change. At least we are like stopping harm nature and ourselves. So this sculpture took uh, three months and a half and that was incredibly intense. This is too fast for doing such, uh, such sculpture, but we managed. And uh, first it was installed uh, just in the middle of Kiev in, at Mariinsky Park for two weeks. Uh, uh, it had inter interactive sound as well. So when you, when you was coming to, towards sculpture, there's a uh, uh, sound of uh, different people talking about their stories about uh, cancer of lungs, but actually mostly people recognize this sculpture uh, like connected to COVID because it's 2020, that was the most number of um, deaths that time, but I must say post, like this, this is like connected to, to both topics because visually like people recognized it uh, that it is connected more with COVID. 
But as well, somebody was saying, oh, it is weeks. That could be really exciting. I agree. Very complicated to put sculpture when it's really cold, because uh, like finishing with concrete is needed, and when it's like freezing cold, it is, it is uh, quite complicated. So there was display there, and um, after we uh, moved it to Kiev Botanical Garden, National Botanical Garden, and there was like very nice opening already there. <laughs> uh, it became so now it's already two two years, a bit more than two years. This sculpture is standing, and uh, people are non-stop doing selfie photos there. Um, the grass never grows under under sculpture because it's just like all the time people standing there. But I must say, this sculpture is dedicated to my little son who died, and his lungs were filled uh, of water. So it is third meaning of this sculpture. This sculpture is dedicated to women, to stereotypes about women, to borders about like around women and everything like this. So there was an um, organization who made um, research all over all over Ukraine, and uh, there was very small, like 30 percent, with some women who self-realized, self like doing what they want to do in this life, and they wanted to make uh, like visual uh, some visual stuff about that. So this sculpture has two faces, actually three faces, but third is hidden and third is only for those who know. Uh, it is, um, on the sketches you probably seen, it is uh, opened face of woman looking forward and sad face uh, at the opposite side. But it's, it's round sculpture and uh, like it's present in us all the time like uh, a tree which lost big branch or part of the tree. It, it is sad, it is very bad, but still you need to keep on growing. That's what I think we need to learn from, from plants. Like plants never want to kill themselves. Plants never want to kill another plant. They just want to live and grow. And this is essential thing that um, we we need to understand. Ta -da! This moment. So this is also very heavy. Yeah, this is scary. This, this is this is really scary. And this heavy sculpture is flying just for one point, one one point. So this is moment like to check if everything is welded well. <laughs> but I had I always had very good team of welders, very very trustful people, and everything was done really well. So luckily this sculpture is all right. Just not uh, very long ago that was shooting another bombing of Kyiv, which uh, one missile was just just near. But sculpture is all right. Like, I, I have known that it's okay. So, from the project to realization, and now we are coming to an amazing project, which started two years ago, more than two years ago, and this is uh, more than two years of work, Dear Dragons. So, this project um, came out the idea of recycling, of plastic, of anti-consumerism, and amazingly, this project is uh, initialized uh, by companies selling toys, which is strange, but great at the same time. So I, I took this project and we started to, to produce. So it's family of dragons, mother and father dragon, and there are three eggs. The composition, which um, is, it, it's like interactive composition to which you can come and, and sit and like sit under the wing of mother, uh, there, there is like three interactive points. I must say from the beginning that that will be like part of production uh, of the sculpture. So that was the most complicated sculpture I've been doing for now. Um, the most complicated of different 
different things like from the beginning the the material like when you're working with recycling material it is complicated from the beginning and also like and, and other things were very complicated in this project but the most complicated thing is that sculpture was finally finished like totally finished perfectly finished 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 and then coming to uh, to studio and saying so we're installing sculpture and guys are selling saying, like, yeah, you're very fanatic of your work, but did you hear it's bomb fell in? And I've been planning to install this sculpture on 27th, 28th of February, but 24th war started. So, this incredible, like, non-stop work sculpture uh, stayed just in Kyiv, just in studio, non-installed, and I really pray, like, one day it will be, it will be displayed. Because, um, so, this culture also is a museum of toys. A lot of toys inserted there are old, some are new, and it's like, you can recognize millions of toys you know, millions of toys you don't know, but like, if you see this, uh, that's excursion over the body of those dragons, that's already an uh, interactive game. And working with this, oh yeah, I must say about this plastic. So, recycled plastic of um, this uh, locker um, pads, yeah, bot bottles, like with what we close bottles. And, um, it looks amazing. It's uh, produced in Ukraine, those uh, plates of um, plastic. Long time needs some cheering up for sure. One time work. <laughs> so uh, this beautiful plastic was produced specially for dragons. So we had a number of um, these plates for father wings, for mother wings, for nest, and eggs made of epoxy. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a little bit toxic but I'm using normal protection. And eggs and uh, wings of mother have light inside, so it's um, it's good a photo of light inside. Yeah, here, here we're working with uh, three, three people, sometimes it was one, two, three people. All connected one friend of mine asked, like, but if in the night all toys will jump out of the dragons? No, they will not. Everything is connected hard with metal. And uh, glued. So that sculpture is for kids, and kids really love to take everything out. So it, it's done really, really strong, and polyurethane uh, glue, like, sticked everything so, so uh, toys still have its shape and uh, like stays to be museum of, of toys this is a very famous photographer from France and they have beautiful eyes as well <laughs> I, I really hope that this huge work will be displayed this was the most treasure present for this culture. A friend of mine brought this Bob Marley and I said like, no, it is so beautiful. Like, but he said, no, let it be here. Like, it is such a marvelous culture. Like, let it be inside. And Bob Marley is just, just here on Father Drogon. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, as I said, war started. Here are my first drawings. Uh, when the war started, I was not doing too much of drawing because it was moving, replacing, and I started project Bereginia. Bereginia comes from Ukrainian old culture, it is mother protector. We have this symbol since, I think, 12th century, somebody say before, but I don't know. So, Bereginia is a tree, is mother, is woman, and is country Ukraine by itself and uh, in my sculpture I have this symbol as I'm working with trees all the time so it came all together but uh, this mother this tree was bombed 
and you will see um, parts of the sculpture are bombs. Oh, we, will, we were welding it under the rain, that was amazing. Like, when, like doing metal is uh, many weeks, it's uh, like months and a half doing just wood and doing metal and after we decide this day we weld and this day is raining. Okay, we can weld un under the rain. Like my new Czech amazing welder saying Vajit Jevo, which is like welding tree. <laughs> he was really like, okay, we will be welding tree. And, and after concrete starts. So uh, my sculptures are really like body. So branch is an idea, is soul. Metal is bones. And after fiber is like muscles. And we are coming to surface like skin. So for me, it's very ritualistic, like all the process of. Uh, so fiber is uh, is uh, cannabis fiber or linen fiber. It's also plants. It's like it's all made of plants. While it is still liftable, it is half of work. Uh, while it's still liftable, we put it to the place where it's possible to take by crane. So that was several times <laughs> removed. After finishing of the sculpture, that, that's like totally not possible to lift it. Even 20 people cannot do this. Like this is middle project, this is still okay to lift with like 10, 12 people. So when I arrived to Czech Republic, uh, I started to search uh, how I can do this project because that was already in my head from the beginning. And I applied to, uh, I received a grant from uh, Cherska Centra and Artists in Risk Connection. And that's how it all worked. Because um, that, that was like, nobody was planning this project. Nobody wanted this, nobody wanted this culture. I just came and started to do it. And that was very challenging because when you start to do big public arts culture and you're not sure if you will have some money like to finish it but I was not thinking about that I was just working and working and working and yeah sure I put uh, much much what I had in this culture as well and didn't earn anything but I just needed to do it because it's it's my fight it's my fight against this aggression so you see Lenin's uh, why Lenin's because that's symbol already, symbol of this um, system, like trying to grab Ukraine. And um, I made them like bombs, three bombs, which are like insert, which are falling, which are like coming to this tree, but crushing themselves. They, they are just crushed. That was funny to crush their heads, I enjoyed. But also that was very, ugly to work with them because I, I always work with trees, with something what I really love. But that was very hateful to work with those Lenins. But still my people, Ukrainian people, have so much like dealing with hate and disgust now, which we didn't want to have. So I took it like my practice as well. So this culture is really strong. <laughs> it's possible to climb, but day of installation. Ta-da! And another sculpture will fly, which is also you can. It's not possible to get used to this. It's it's always very fresh and it's always like very scary as well. I think like each time I have more white hair on my hand when sculpture is flying, but it's also very. Very great moment and very pleasant. What I must say, I'm progressing as well in my technology of producing sculptures. And this time, like normally when I'm transporting sculpture, it is some scratches on concrete. This time, my technology, perfect. I mean, like I progressed uh, through different sculptures a lot and now even no scratches after transportation which is incredible because all the all the heavy weight like tone tone and 200 or 300 is on one point and sculpture has babies so this is a complicated complicated symbol 
as you've seen at the beginning, uh, this mother protector, it has birds or babies on its branches. Um, and it has candles around because it's ritual sculpture for people to come and pray and light candles around it. And here was the amazing opening. The sky was like, like burning. It was very, very dramatic and intense and beautiful at the same time. And people were lighting candles. Interesting sirens. In Czech Republic, each Wednesday, they do sirens just to check. And I made this video with sirens, you know, it's now reality. In Kiev, there is sirens almost every day and so it should, it should be for, there's a lot of Ukrainians in Prague and I, I hope that will give uh, some possibility to, to come and pray, to light a candle, to, to have, I don't know, some moment. That's it. Yeah.